a lot of rappers still it seems like want to be Tupac. They want to have his popularity. They want people to love them like they everyone loves him. But why do you think no one's succeeding? <laughs> well, because I, this is what they fail to realize about Tupac. In order for them to be Tupac, they would have to die before they peaked. Right before they peaked, they would have to die. So if you don't like, you don't die. You, you can't do it. Bottom line, if you don't go die. You're not gonna be the next two five, cause it ain't gonna be the next two five. Straight up. Also opened up about not speaking to Tupac during the last year of his life due to a heated argument they had. I just felt like he was off track a little bit, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm, I spoke on that, mm -hmm. and we got into a heated, probably one of the most heated arguments we've ever had. Pac and I getting into heated confrontations was not unusual, right? This was this happened to be a very heated one. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't speak to him for a year. I was hurt. I was pissed. And I really kind of dug my heels in the ground. I was just like, he went too far, and he's going to have to call me. Mm -hmm. Both that. He's gonna, he's gonna have to call me and I'm standing my ground on it, mm -hmm. you know? And I learned that don't waste time like that. Mm. You know, it's like a whole year out of my, you know, pride. You know what I'm saying? It's just pride, both of us, very prideful. Mm -hmm. hard very prideful, just yeah. hard headed, mm -hmm. prideful, you know, because none of it mattered. The day that I, the, the, when Afeni called me, you know, when I found out he'd been shot again, I didn't give, like, and that whole conversation and whatever was going on with Suge and all that, it didn't matter. So why should it have mattered for a whole year? Mm -hmm. It didn't matter. And surely once he was gone, you know? So I just learned, like, man, don't hold on to bullshit. What's up, man? What's up? I try to picture myself in this position, but remain silent. I get to thinking about the things we've been through. We close like him, but you remain my friend too. This life was sin that got the both of us in trouble, but you always stay down for a nigga, so that's why I love you. Reminiscing these tissues, fighting over childish issues. Swear I can't live with you, but without you, every day I miss you. When we roll, you hold my pistol, my gangster belt to hit you. Always in the mood for love, that's why I'm sleeping with you. Though not the man in your dreams, my plan and schemes to live life like a kid. And live my life trouble free. I see no, yesterday I called your names and played games on your mind. I promise that I'll change in time. It's a complicated love, so girl, don't just be a friend. I swear I'll never call you bitch again. But this Shit I've been through, never meant to hurt you Can we make this work, boo? 
been feeling pain Things are not the same Waiting to exhale While I'm sitting in the county jail Keep your head up Cause things are getting better My cell make shed tears Off your last love letter Told us all you my friends So keep your eyes peeled Sorry if I cuss But it's the suffering that I feel Who can I trust And if I bust when she snitch Even though you ain't the type to trip Sorry if I called you bitch You show me the definition of feminine The difference between a pack of bitches And black women I see the ball for the third time Hope to see you soon Pictures of us kissing in the living room In the new Thanks for being there Much more than a friend I swear I'll never call you bitch again Yo, YouTube, what up? It's your homie Gab, I'm in the building, and this is Machiavelli Media. So Jada Pinkett Smith was on All the Smoke with Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes, right? And she was she's doing this whole campaign, I guess it's for a book, and she's talking about how Tupac wanted to marry her while he was in prison and all of these different things, right? And she finally brought up that last conversation she had with Tupac, and it was an argument, and it was a very big one. It was so big that her and Tupac hadn't spoke the last physical year of his life. Now, that's wild, because you hear how close they were coming up here in Baltimore at the School of the Arts and how much they love each other and Tupac spoke about Jada saying that's the only girl he would give his heart, his kidneys. He would give anything to her. And you got to see how she still talks about Tupac and she's still haunted by the memory of Tupac to this day. But part of the reason is because they never got closure. She never got a chance to, you know, uh, work things out with Tupac, whatever they was arguing about, you know, Apparently, it wasn't that serious for them never to speak again. But ultimately, that's what happened. Um, she says she never got the closure. Um, don't take life for granted. You know, if you love somebody, if, if you're close to that person, you know, work things out. Don't just leave an argument as your last words or your last interactions between each other. Well, this got me to think about... What I heard Tyrese say on the radio station when he was doing promo for Tupac's Better Days album. He's featured on the, the, the CD version of Better Days, and they was asking him what was it like recording it. And he said he learned a lot about Tupac in the song and some things he didn't know that this song was actually written for Jada Pinkett, and he explained the argument. He didn't say what they argued about. He just said he heard they got into an argument, and Tupac was the type of guy that wrote down his feelings and whatever he was thinking about 
and turned it into music. And that's what he did on this song. And I just thought, you know, that was phenomenal. And to hear Jada talk about it, this argument that took place and Tupac said some horrible things to her. Apparently, he must have called her a bitch. Let's just keep it a buck. And she wanted him to call her and apologize. And Pac was stubborn. He wouldn't call her. But apparently, he was still thinking about her and had her on his mind. And she was waiting on him to call. And that call never happened. So I just thought this would be a good video. And... um. A good time to indulge in some Tupac history and also some current things that's going on with Jada publicly talking about this argument. Tell me what you guys think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to turn on them post notifications so you'll be the first ones to get it when I drop that shit. Subscribe to the channel because this is Machiavelli Media. And I'm your homie Gab. And I'm signing off. I'm about to hit y'all with the... Peace.